Good morning, good morning. Welcome. If you just joined us here today, uh, we're doing our Chronic Pain Minute Clinic. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 9 a.m. for the month of June. <clears throat> so I'm here to delete any emotions or negative thoughts or emotions that may be connected to your chronic pain. So if you just joined us here today, just uh, put your name, if you like, in the, in the comment section. Say hi. Let us know where, you for, where you're from. Also, if you'd like to volunteer to have a free session today, I'm taking two, two volunteers here in our Minute Clinic here today. So again, welcome. If you just joined us, we're doing our Chronic Pain Minute Clinic here. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the month of June at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So welcome. <clears throat> Do you or your children suffer from chronic pain? Have you tried all the different lotions, potions, and all the different therapies, and maybe you've only had limited results or maybe no results at all? Do you feel frustrated sometimes when you hear that that pain that you're experiencing, there's no, there's no explanation for it? Nothing shows up on x-rays, uh, we do our tests, we can't find anything wrong, but there it is. Do you know anyone that experiences anything like that? Well, here I'm here to tell you that chronic pain is something that many people experience and have for many years, and a lot of times it's never resolved. So I'm here to try to help you get to the source of your chronic pain. So if you just joined us here today, welcome. You can put your name in the comment list here below if you like, and let us know where you for, where you're from. <clears throat> and if you'd like to volunteer for a free session here today as well, you can put your name in the comment section here below. And we're doing free minute clinics for chronic pain. <clears throat> so my name is John Schlappach, and I'm a certified body code emotion code practitioner, um, wellness consultant as well in the area of energy medicine for many years. Um, I've got a, over a 40 year back, a holistic background, holistic health, and also 30 years as background as a medical massage therapist. So I've seen a lot of pain, a lot of chronic pain in, in my life, helped a lot of people. So I'm here to help you today. Uh, maybe get a little bit more understanding around chronic pain, maybe some reasons for that chronic pain, but also if you are dealing with chronic pain here, I'm looking for two volunteers today in our Facebook Live and what we're wanting to do to help you out. If you want the help, we're gonna see if we can uh, lower, lessen, perhaps even eliminate or delete that uh, chronic pain. So maybe you've had that for five or six years, maybe you've had it longer. There's a lot of reason for chronic pain, but there's one thing that I, um, in all my years as a therapist, I was always trying to help my clients get to the source of their chronic pain issues. Interesting enough, sometimes they would come in with a sore neck and I would discover that that sore neck is actually coming from the opposite hip, which has been locked up. So I would work on that part where it began, that's where it originated, and I'd eventually work my way up to the neck. Some people, some therapists, you come in with a sore neck, that's all, they just work on your neck. I was always wanting to help my uh, patients get to the source of it. So sometimes it was coming from a whole other place in your body. It was maybe coming up from that bad knee that you had on the right side, it's worked its way up, it's crossed over, now it's up to your shoulder. So. It's an interesting thing when you start working with chronic pain because um, there's an expression in massage. Pain lies all the time. So just where the pain is sometimes is not necessarily where it's coming from. Yes, if you fell and hurt your wrist or something and your wrist was sore, that's pretty obvious and the pain is there. But sometimes these chronic pains can go on for years and they can come and go or sometimes you have go through difficult times or not so bad, uh, but they're always there, never go away. 
And that's, a lot of times, that's due to trapped emotions. So welcome, if you just joined us here today, just put your name in the comment section here below. I'm doing a Chronic Pain Minute Clinic, doing free sessions here, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the month of June. Uh, this is our 15th in the series of Minute Clinics. Uh, our original one was for uh, negative feelings and thoughts for people that were experiencing from COVID-19. Uh, so the chronic pain here is our next one. And I'm looking for at least one or two volunteers here today that would like to lower, lessen, eliminate, maybe even totally delete their chronic pain and do it within minutes. And it's something I've been doing for many, many years now, working with the Emotion Code. So this program comes out of this book here. You may have seen this book before. It's called The Emotion Code by Dr. Bradley Nelson. Um, how to release your trapped emotions for abundant health, love, and happiness. Uh, it's got a forward here by Tony Robbins. Uh, some of you may have know Tony Robbins. Um, he says, I believe that the discoveries here in this book can change our understanding of how we store emotional experiences and in so doing, change our lives. The Emotion Code has already changed many lives around the world and it's my hope that millions more will be led to use this simple tool to heal themselves and their loved ones. And that's an important part of this, a simple tool, you know. Things don't always have to be complex. Um, as a practitioner for many years, uh, with a lot of my patients, they would come to me with different uh, diagnoses and different uh, uh, assessments of their health conditions. And quite often I found that at least in 20, 25% of the cases, the diagnoses were incorrect, first of all. And secondly, the assessment was in most cases, you know, not done to the extent it could be done. And which I understand, you know, if you're going to your GP with some issues, uh, they're not trained, uh, they're not a chronic pain specialist. So I was always looking for ways to help my patients. And sometimes they'd come to me with these issues and I would kind of translate it for them in plain English. Okay, the doctor says you're dealing with this, this and this. And then actually in plain English, what that means is you've got some inflammation in your left knee or whatever it might be. So I'm here also to let you know that uh, working with the uh, emotion code, body code, uh, we're not here to diagnose or treat any particular disease. We're actually here to help you look for the underlying imbalances that may be contributing or leading to this chronic pain issue that you're dealing with. So in using the emotion code, I follow a seven step process. And that's what I use to help get to the source of your chronic pain. So if you just joined us here today, I'm John Schlappack. I'm a certified body code, emotion code practitioner, uh, former instructor as well, and also teacher and a wellness consultant in energy medicine for many years. So I've had a very strong interest in helping people deal with chronic pain issues. Uh, acute pain as well, but especially chronic pain. And so if you know anyone at all, yourself maybe, or a child that suffers from chronic pain, I'm here to tell you that a lot of times the underlying cause are related to emotional energies. And so as Dr. Nelson says, you know, the uh, releasing trapped emotions for abundant health, love, and happiness, well, what if part of your chronic pain, maybe all of it or part of it, was due to trapped emotions? Well, if that's the case, I can identify these emotions here. You can see in the chart behind me, I can identify these emotions and delete them within minutes for you. And I've seen amazing results over the years uh, in helping people deal with chronic pain. And um, what I've also found is that in a lot of cases with these people, they've tried many, many other things to deal with it. And, and nothing's really, you know, maybe things have helped them to some degree, but it hasn't really got to the source. 
So that's why we're here for today to help people source out some of that chronic pain, some of the some of the sources of that chronic pain. So if you just joined us here today, just uh, you can put your name in the comment section if you like. Just tell us where you're from. And um, I'm here to look for two volunteers. And uh, what I'll be doing here is I'll be following the seven-step process. So um, I see we have a little volunteer here. Hello, Gay Tan. So Gay Tan here is one of our volunteers here today. So um, what we need from you here, Gay Tan, it's a right shoulder pain. Is what you're... I think it's no, and it's due, and you think it's due to emotions. So what I need from you, Gaetan, is um, it's in your right shoulder, so we know where it is. What's the severity of that chronic pain for you on overall? Is it on a scale of one to 10, is that usually a four or five, or is it a um, eight out of 10, nine out of 10? Where is that chronic pain for you uh, in severity? So if you can just update us on that here, Gaetan, give us the, you know, your estimate of where that chronic pain is. Again, 10 is extreme pain and one is next very little. So if you can just update us here. And then we have a baseline to work with. So she's saying that it's about an 8 out of 10 chronic pain in her right shoulder, 8 out of 10. And this has been going on for a while, I guess, because that's what chronic pain is. It's not pain that you just experienced in the last few weeks. It's something that's been, you've been dealing with for a long time. So we're going to do a uh, session here for Gay Tan. And before we do the session, I'm just going to quickly go over just a little bit of the process so you understand what we're doing. And then we're going to do our, our session here for you. And so I use uh, what we call the seven key process or seven steps to dealing with uh, whether it's chronic pain or whether it's um, uh, digestive problems, whether it's relationship, health, success issues. Um, I use, a, I begin with a, it's called a seven step process. And in that process, I'm going to use our emotion code chart here to help out Gay Tan. And you can see that chart in behind me. There's 60 different emotions on there. Here's a smaller version of it. There's 60 different emotions here, column A, column B, six different rows. And if you notice, I know it's backwards on your screen right now, but if you, some of these, these emotions are generated by different organs and glands. For example, um, the heart can generate heartache. It can generate insecurity, vulnerability, uh, can generate different, or, um, different emotions. And one of the most common organs that we find involved with chronic pain are uh, kidneys. The kidneys have an energetic connection to your upper back, your upper shoulders and neck and your jaw, plus your lower back and all the muscles along your spine and, and your lower legs. So these emotions connect to different parts of our body. So I'll be using, uh, how, helping out Gay Tan here, I'll be using what we call muscle testing Muscle testing is also known as applied kinesiology. And uh, this has been around since the 70s. I started, I learned how to do muscle testing from a master practitioner back in the 70s. And I was testing for uh, nutritional supplements. You know, do I need vitamin C or vitamin D? Uh, here's five different brands. What's the best brand for me? Is it this brand, this brand, this brand, this brand, this brand? So that's when I started muscle testing. And muscle testing has been around, again, since the 70s. There was a, a book uh, written by Dr. John Diamond. He's a chiropractor. talked all about applied kinesiology or muscle testing. Uh, also, if you happen to know of this book here, Power Versus Force, for example, Power Versus Force by Dr. David Hawkins, um, uses muscle testing um, to check for levels of consciousness, conscious awareness. And when it comes to chronic pain, there's Dr. John Sarno's book here, Dr. John Sarno, uh, The Epidemic Mind of Mind-Body Disorders. So what he's saying here is most health issues are either, number one, they're either caused from, they're directly induced by unconscious, he calls them emotions, or such things as gastrointestinal conditions, reflux ulcers, irritable bowel, skin disorders, chronic pain, 
or these, these, they are associated with uh, emotions and environmental issues, but there's pretty well always emotions involved. So we use that emotion code chart, we use muscle testing, we also use what's called proxy, and proxy is where I can energetically move my subconscious out of the way, connect to your subconscious, and um, ask your subconscious through the muscle testing, yes or no questions to, to get to the source. And once we know your severity, in this case with Gaetan, it's about an eight out of 10. So severity is important to know because we wanna see if we can knock that down for you. And we have your permission, that's very important to have your permission to do this. And the next step is we use a magnet we use a magnet and we run it along that central governing meridian to delete, once we identify it, to delete those emotions or thoughts that are contributing to that chronic pain. And the other thing, make sure that I'm well hydrated when I do the work and make sure that you're well hydrated. So just before we get started here, I'm going to have a sip of water here. Okay, so I'm going to ask, so I'm just going to double check myself. First, and a strong response is, is like a yes, show me a yes, show me a no. And there's many different forms of muscle testing. This is a common one I use, same with Dr. Nelson. So show me a yes, show me a no. Am I John? Yes. Am I Bob? No. Am I ready to be tested? Yes. Am I hydrated enough here to work on uh, gay tan? Yes, I am. So gay tan, we have your permission. So now can I act as a proxy then for gay tan? D, yes, I can. Am I gay tan? Yes. Am I, am I John? No, I'm gay tan. So now that we're connected energetically, gay tan, now I can talk to your subconscious mind through your body and find out what's going on. So gay tan has this uh, problem here uh, with your right shoulder pain. It's been, been chronic. It's about an eight out of 10. Uh, it's probably affecting her ability to do certain activities. I know she loves to golf and other things. So um, it may be affecting those activities as well. So I'm going to ask, am I gay tan? Yes. Is there a reason why you have this uh, chronic pain uh, in your right shoulder? And I'm getting a yes on that. Uh, is it emotionally based? And I'm getting another yes on that. So how many emotions are we talking about for you here, gay tan, in that right shoulder? Uh, One, two, three, there's four of them. So there's four emotions here impacting that right shoulder. Remember, these emotions are generated by different organs and glands, and they have different tie-ins to different parts of the body. For example, the gallbladder is a major cause of right knee pain. It has a connection to that. So in this case, there's four emotions involved with the right shoulder. So I'm going to take um, our emotion code chart here. And I'm going to ask which ones are they? Are any of them in, in our column A here? Yes. Are they all in column A? No. So how many are in column A? There's three of them in column A. So any in row one, row two, row three, row, four, row five. Remember we mentioned kidney bladder? Kidney connects to your shoulders and your neck. So row five is, how many emotions are we talking about here? One, two, there's three of them. One of them is blaming. The emotion of blaming. What's the other one? Is it dread? Is it fear? Another one is fear. Uh, there's another one of being peeved. Peeved. I don't know if you can relate to any of these emotions here. So one of them is blaming. One of them is fear. One of them is peeved. Are any others in column A? No. Column B? Yes. Which row? One, two, three, four. There's row five again. There's a kidney bladder. So let me ask, uh, is it conflict? No, there's some creative insecurity there as well that's impacting your right shoulder. And that's an interesting emotion because we are creative beings and when we're insecure about creating something, um, it's almost, it's like a form of procrastination as a matter of fact. We can be insecure about having, uh, being healthy for example, or having better relationships. So that's a very, very common one. So we've got blaming, we've got fear, we've got peeve, we've got creative insecurity. Any other ones here? No. Are any of these hidden? No. Are any of them absorbed? Are any of them shared? No. Are any of them inherited from mother, inherited from father? Are any of them prenatal preconception? No. Are any of them um, psychic trauma emotions? No. Are any of them trauma energies or psychic or, sorry, vibrational resonances? No. So do we need to know more in order to release them? No. 
can release them all at once. No, we need to release them one at a time for you here, Gaitan. So we're going to release, do we need to do them in a particular order? No. So we're going to release the emotion of blaming here that's contributing to this right shoulder discomfort that's been going on for a while. It was an 8 out of 10. Um, from your perspective, it was an 8 out of 10. And we're going to release, just to cover our bases here for you, we're going to release some hidden blaming and shared and absorbed and psychic traumas and trauma energies and vibrational resonances. And we're going to release some fear now just... As we release these emotions, we ask you just to take some nice breaths after each emotion. So now we're going to release fear for you and Gaytan. And any hidden fear and shared fear and absorbed fear and psychic traumas, trauma energies and vibrational resonances of fear. And take a good breath on that one. So I'm, I want to go back and check. Did I release the blaming to 100%? Yes, and the fear, yes. So those are both gone. So... Take some breaths, move that shoulder around. So now there's two more here that we need to release for you. So the next one is peeved. So do we need to know more in order to release it? No, we don't. So let's release that peeved energy here that's having an impact on the right shoulder, maybe causing some discomfort, maybe limitations of uh, ranges of motion here. And any hidden peeved and shared peeved and absorbed peeved and psychic traumas and trauma energies and vibrational resonances of peeved and take a breath on that one. Move that shoulder around after each release a little bit. And did it release that peed for you? Yes, we did. Was it released 100%? Yes. So now the next one is creative insecurity. Do we need to know more in order to release it for you? No, we don't. So sometimes when we're, most of the time, when we just need to um, identify the emotions, ask if we can release it, and then just delete it using that magnet on the central governing meridian. Uh, sometimes we may need to know more. We might need to know how old you were when you trapped that emotion. You can trap an emotion when you're three. Now it shows up at 33 is a problem. So if we just need to know the emotion, then we'll just, then that's what we do. So here, creative insecurity um, is just for curiosity. Is this your own creative insecurity? Yes, it is. Is it anything to do with your health? Yeah, actually, this is health related. Creative insecurity to do with health. Is it family, relationships, etc.? Something to do with health overall. So maybe it's tied into that being insecure about being able to have a, a healthy shoulder or whatever. So do we need to know more in order to release it? No. So we're going to release that creative insecurity here for you within Gay Town and any hidden creative insecurity and shared creative insecurity, absorbed and trauma energies and psychic traumas and vibrational resonances. And let's take a big breath on that one. And did release that creative insecurity then for you as well. Yes. Were they re was it released 100%? Yes. So now I'm going to ask your subconscious, am I gay tan? Yes. So when we started working on your right shoulder, gay tan, what was the severity of that chronic pain or that issue you had with the right shoulder on a scale of 1 to 10? Was it a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? It was an 8 out of 10. Yeah, your subconscious agrees with you. Remember, it knows everything about you. And where is it now on a scale of 1 to 10? Is it a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? It's down to a 0 now. So that's what we want to do in our sessions here, our minute clinics, or when I'm working, anytime I'm doing sessions or working on people, I want to try to get that issue down to a zero. Now, sometimes there'll be another layer that'll come up, but uh, we want to keep knocking it down to a zero. So if you can do that here, Gay Tan, if you can just move that shoulder around, see how it feels, and maybe just update us here in one minute, give us a comment. Wait a minute or so, give us a comment in the comment section as to how that shoulder is feeling. So welcome, if you just joined us today, we're doing our Chronic Pain Minute Clinics here, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for the month of June, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 noon Eastern Time. <clears throat> I'm here in lovely Kelowna, British Columbia. So if you just joined us, just uh, you can put your name in the comment section, where you're from. And if you're interested, uh, I'm looking for another volunteer that we can work on here today. We're trying to help people eliminate, lower, lessen, or probably totally delete that chronic pain. I've had ex extreme success with this over the years. Worked on a lot of people. Um, 
I'll share a couple of stories for you while we're waiting for our update here or anyone else to make a comment. Um, this is a story from a woman who uh, recently had had a problem with her knee. Um, it had been going on for quite a while. She had limitations in, in using it or standing for long periods or doing certain things. So here was her comment, I'm over the moon to report that my left knee has been feeling absolutely amazing. Since you have helped me clear the imbalances, I know that I still have another step to do. However, the level of physical stability I'm experiencing now is incredible. Thanks for, thank you for literally giving me more bounce in each step. So. How would you like to have more bounce in your stuff? Maybe you've got a knee problem, I know. Maybe a hip problem, back, shoulder, neck, uh, whatever. Um, I'm here to help you identify and delete any chronic uh, pain that you may have been experiencing, perhaps, or maybe you, or maybe you have a child who's dealing with chronic pain, maybe chronic upset tummies or whatever. And uh, we can help you get to the source of that. So here's a little comment back from gate 10. Uh, the right shoulder is feeling much better. It's more mobile. Thank you, John. This is very helpful. And I had an idea of what was going on. And you did a great, what was it? You did a great job. Thank you. Good. So that, how long did that take? Well, you know, I could have probably done that in a couple minutes. Um, that's why it's called the Minute Clinic. But I like to explain things as we go because i am also been a teaching therapist for many years. I like to be able to teach people how to take care of themselves or teach them, help them understand some of the processes that are involved in their health. So thank you for that, Gay Tan. Uh, thumbs up to you too. Hopefully that'll help. I don't know if you're doing any golfing these days, but um, if that shoulder's affecting your golf, hopefully it's gonna start to come around for you. Now again, when we do these sessions, sometimes it may take a day or two for your body to completely process the releases, but once we've released those emotions in your subconscious mind, those emotions that we released are gone and gone forever. The same emotion can show up many times. Uh, you may have trapped fear in your energy field uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 times in your life. And each time you trap that emotion, it causes the distortion in your energy field and create weaknesses and chronic pain and all kinds of stuff. Organ, gland imbalances, all kinds of stuff. And yes, uh, she's going golfing. Good. Well, that'll be a good test for your shoulder there, Gaytan. So maybe uh, you can come back to one of our minute clinics here over the next week or so and uh, give us a little update as how things went for you with that shoulder and... Hopefully, uh, it's going to help you with your golf. I know I worked with her years ago on her golf game. I think she was in a tournament. And and things I've done before for people to release some of that emotions before you do certain activities. Sometimes there is some anxiety or some fear or some apprehension that you're dealing with before you do certain activities. And we can help you eliminate those things within minutes. So thanks for volunteering. So we're looking for an, one more volunteer today. And good, she'll give us an update here. So one more volunteer that would like us to do a little work if they're dealing with some chronic pain. So maybe you or your children are suffering some with some chronic neck pain, maybe some shoulder pain, some back pain, uh, knee pain, elbow pain, hip pain. And you've had this going on for a while. Maybe you've tried all the different lotions and potions and and. Uh, Maybe, maybe many types of therapies and maybe you've got some results. Maybe the results were limited. Maybe you had no results or maybe you had some results, but it just keeps coming back. And that's how this whole thing started here with uh, Dr. Nelson. Uh, by the way, this is the second edition of the Emotion Code. I highly re recommend you order this book for yourself. Get it on Amazon. It's a great, not only is it a great read, it's going to teach you here how you can do this for yourself, how you can empower yourself and learn how to do some of this work on yourself. Uh, years ago, when I was an instructor for Dr. Brad and teaching the seminars, I was pleased to discover that there was a lot of people that were much more open now to natural health and holistic health. 
and especially things to do with the mind and the body. Remember I showed you this book here before, Dr. John Sarno, The, the Epidemic of Mind-Body Disorders, right? He was a rehab specialist. He also wrote the best-selling author of Healing Back Pain. And guess what? What he found? Most of the time, as he said, it was either all emotionally based or it was a combination of emotions and environmental factors. So I'm here to work with you on the emotional side of that um, to find out what's going on. So if you just joined us, just uh, you can just leave your name in the comment section where you're from and just even just to say hi if you like. I'm here in the sunny Okanagan, Kelowna, British Columbia. Oh, it's about 300 miles inland from uh, the west coast of British Columbia. It's, we also, it's also known as the Four Seasons Playground. We've got great golfing and skiing and hiking and a beautiful big lake here. So it's a wonderful place. So if you're living, if you're an active person and you're finding you've got some chronic pain issues that are maybe not allowing you to do certain activities or maybe even pre, uh, present or preventing you from doing certain activities, then perhaps uh, it may be some emotions that are contributing to this issue that you're dealing with. So I'm here to tell you that uh, I can help you delete those emotions. We can identify them and delete them within minutes. And a shout out here to Holly as well. Hi, Holly. Nice for you to join us here today. We're doing our Minute Clinic, Chronic Pain Minute Clinic, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 noon Eastern for the month of June. And if you stay tuned here, we've got some other, uh, I've got some other minute clinics coming up here as well. And these are all free clinics for you. To, so you get the chance to, uh, to learn a little bit about the emotion code and perhaps experience it yourself. If you volunteer to do, for us to do some work, then uh, you'll get to experience it as well. And in, in the interesting thing, this is being done energetically. That's why it's called energy healing. And it's being done at a distance. Remember I mentioned that proxy? Um, how What I'm doing here is it's called proxy work. So proxy work. So in other words, I'm able to energetically connect with your subconscious mind, no matter where you are, move mine aside, connect to yours, and start asking your subconscious yes or no questions. It's like a lie detector. You know, uh, is this problem? What's the severity? Uh, what's causing it? Is it emotions? How many emotions? Can we delete them? Uh, so we're talking to your subconscious mind through your body. It's also known as bioenergetics. So we've got some other ones coming up here. I'll be doing uh, starting next week for business owners and entrepreneurs. I will be working on the issue of procrastination. You know, what's stopping, blocking, preventing or holding you back from maybe getting that project done or maybe picking up that phone and talking to some of your clients, maybe making some changes in your business, especially today uh, with after COVID-19, all of us are having to look at how we're doing things and seeing what we could do differently, perhaps better. And so many, many people now are, are working from home. And that's a nice part if you get to work from home. I've been doing it for a number of years now. I had a big clinic for years and, and I really enjoy working from my home. So, And the nice thing is I've been able to help people, had extreme success in helping people in Canada, US, uh, Hong Kong, uh, Portugal, Brazil, uh, Germany, um, oh, many, many countries, Iceland, Many, many countries have been able to help people with over the years, and we're doing that energetically. This is called energy healing or energy medicine. And energy medicine is the future of medicine. So if you're doing any research on that, understanding that we're working with the mind and the body here. And the mind runs the body. How many people here think the body runs the mind? Okay, I used to think that, you know, at one time. And then I started researching the mind and learning about the mind back in the uh, late 70s. I, I was studying with people like uh, Zig Ziglar, uh, Bob Proctor, um, even Tony Robbins, uh, 
many, many people, I started to learn about the mind and how our thoughts impact our reality. And so if you're having some chronic pain issues, guess what? There's probably some negative thought or negative emotion somewhere in your energy field that might be causing the whole thing for you or at least contributing to that issue for you. So if you just joined us, I'm looking for uh, another volunteer that we can work on. We helped Gay Chan with, uh, she was dealing with the right shoulder. It was an eight out of 10. We did uh, released four different emotions for her on that. She reported that it's feeling much better and easier to move around. She's gonna go out golfing, so we'll have a chance to test that and see how it's doing. So if you'd like us to do some work with you here today, um, I need um, four things from you. Number one, I need where are you experiencing that chronic pain? Um, is it in your lower back? Is it in your neck, in your shoulder, your hip, your knee? Where are you experiencing that chronic pain? How, how long have you had it? How is it affecting your life? Is it causing you to, is it limiting your activities? Is it uh, keeping you awake at night? Uh, is it always there? Is it always in the back of your mind? You know, chronic pain. I suffered with chronic pain for a number of years. I think it was over eight years I'd had a back issue from a ski injury many years ago. And so it was impact, it was always there. I don't know if you can relate to that, but it was always there. There was that point in my back. Even I had lots of massage and lots of Cairo and all kinds of stuff we tried and many things. It was always there. And it would wake me up at night sometimes and I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. And, you know, how important is that? Well, you know, I've been a sleep consultant for years. And guess what? The number one most important thing you need to do for your health, besides drinking good water, is have good quality sleep. That's when your body does a lot of its healing in your sleep. So it's very important. So it was affecting me and uh, I found uh, over time and through some good references, I was able to find some energy medicines that helped. And that's when I really started to explore energy. What is energy? Well, everything is energy. Your energy, I'm energy. That pain that you've got in your shoulder, well, that's, that's some form of energy. And energy is either moving or it's not. It's either vibrating at a higher frequency or it's vibrating at a lower frequency. So when we're feeling things like anger and frustration and guilt and depression, what's happening to our energy field? Well, our energy field is being depressed, you know? You know, you've seen, you've met people that have been depressed. Maybe you've been gone through depression parts in your life and you know that when you're depressed, your whole system is depressed, right? So your vibration is, is low, is low. And when you have low vibrations, you can't have vibrant health. You can't be totally happy, healthy, productive. So these emotions, these negative emotions um, that we trap in our energy field, Quite often there, we can relate pretty well. Every major event in our life, we can relate an emotion to. Think of it, every major event. Maybe it was a wedding that you attended and there was such joy and, and elation there and you could feel that, you know. And when you're around certain family or friends, you can just feel it, that good energy. Or you know when you walk into a place sometimes, you can just feel the energy. Or someone walks into that place where you are and you can just feel their energy. We're all some form of energy. So it's either vibrating at a higher frequency or a lower frequency. So if you have any trapped emotions at all in your energy field, guess what? they're vibrating at a lower frequency. So that's why I'm here to help you identify these emotions and delete them for you within minutes so that you can feel a little happier, a little healthier. Uh, maybe that get rid of that chronic pain for you. You know, chronic pain, again, is, is something that, um, again, most of us have experienced at least one time in our life we've experienced uh, back pain of some sort. It's probably the most common form. As a matter of fact, um, here I am sitting here in front of your uh, computer or in front of our uh, iPhone here doing the Facebook Live. I'm sitting on this chair and guess what? Sitting now is they call sitting the new smoking. So we have to be active. And if you have some chronic pain that's maybe slowing down your ability to be active or st stopping or preventing you from doing some certain activities, then I can delete that for you. 
So maybe you can get back to those activities. Maybe you can start to get a little better quality of life. And again, um, it's not that complicated when you start to ask, because we go to the source, right? We go to that subconscious mind. You know, um, many years ago I learned, there was a diagram I, um, I got from one of my mentors. Actually, it was Bob Proctor. And he drew a circle. He drew a big circle. And then he took that circle and he divided it in half. And then on the top part of the circle, he put the letter C. And on the bottom part, he put the letter S. And then he ran another line down below that, an inch or two, and then put another smaller circle, right? So it was C, S, and then P. So really what he was doing, he was drawing a simple picture of the mind. Again, things don't have to be complicated. So the C was stood for our conscious mind, and that's now they figure it's maybe only five or ten percent of our mind activity is our is our conscious mind. And that's when we make conscious choices. For example, that's when we decide we're gonna go to the store, we get in the car, we get out of the driveway, we know we need to go left. We go up for a few blocks, we know we need to turn right, we go up for another block, we turn left, we go into the parking lot, and there we are at the grocery store. We made some conscious choices along the way, we're gonna go this way, this way, and that way. Um, and we got to the store. So then there's the subconscious mind, which is what we call the super mind. Well, that is probably 90 to 95% now of our mind is what we call our subconscious mind. So our, our conscious mind is the thinking mind, the subconscious mind is what we call the emotional mind. And guess what, it knows everything about you. Everything from the time that you were conceived. Everything you've ever tasted, everything you've ever touched, everything you've ever felt, experienced is all recorded in our subconscious. And that's what we're doing here. We're working with, through our muscle testing, we're asking your subconscious mind, why does uh, Jenny have that lower back pain that she's had for 10 years? Why, why does Peter have that left knee pain that he's, that he's had for so many years? What's going on? Let's ask, let's go to the source and ask. Why? Because that subconscious mind is also connected to the divine. So it knows everything about you. So that's what we're working with. So that's when you get in your car to go to the grocery store. You get in your car, you drive to the grocery store, you get there, you're sitting in the parking lot in your car, and you're thinking, geez, how did I get here? Anyone had that experience? How did I get here? I, my mind was in a whole other place. Yet I got in my car and I drove here, drove to the grocery store. That's our subconscious mind. That's where all your patterns are. You've been over that route so many times that you kind of, you subconscious that you remember that that pathway. You can all, like I say, some people say, I could almost drive there blindfolded. That's your subconscious mind. So again, that lies our memories. That, that, that lies all of our, um, you know, all of our experiences that we've ever had are recorded there. It knows everything about you. And so it knew how to get to the store. It's been there so many times. So that determines how you think. It determines how you behave. It determines how you respond. It determines the type of success you're going to have in your life. It determines the, the type of relationships. So many things are determined by our subconscious mind because that's our thoughts that are in there. Can we change that? Absolutely, we can change that. But if there's something blocking, preventing, or stopping you from changing that mindset, then we need to get rid of it. It's kind of like what we're doing here when we're releasing these uh, trapped emotions here. What we're doing here is it's, it's like we're cleaning up your hard drive. Okay? We're getting rid of some of those viruses in there. We're, heart, we're identifying them and we're cleaning them up a little bit. Why? Because we need to do it for our computer. Guess what? We, we have, our mind is the, our brain, our mind, everything, it's, it's a big computer. So we need to clean it up every once in a while. We gotta get rid of some of the baggage, throw off some of that baggage. And that's why trapped emotions are, are quite often, or unprocessed emotions are what we refer to as emotional baggage. And we're all carrying it. I'm carrying some, you're carrying it. 
we're all carrying it. But what if that emotion or emotions that you're carrying was something that happened when you were eight years old or happened at school and you, you had some anger and some resentment about that? And here you are, you're 50 years old, and you're still carrying that anger and resentment. Well, it's generated by the liver, the gallbladder. Maybe your liver's not functioning to its 100% capacity. You know, that liver has over 500 functions in our body. Do we want it to be healthy? Absolutely. And it's one of the only organs we know about can, that can regenerate. And guess what? If it's got trapped emotions in there, they could be causing shoulder problems, other issues going on in the body because they're connected there. But also, if your liver's not happy, you're, it's not going to function to the optimum. And it's the only one that can regenerate. So let's get rid of some of the viruses, some of the negative thoughts or emotions, and let's keep that liver happy. And, and that's really what we can do here. And that's really well, that's where we're getting into the body code. So the emotion code is the... Um, uh, I would say the body code is the master program. That's the program I work with. It includes the emotion code. Uh, so the master program includes working, checking all your organs and glands, checking all your immune system, checking your nervous system, checking for heart walls. And that's an area that we'll, we'll talk in another minute. Clint. We're gonna, we'll look for uh, energetic walls you've put around your heart that are holding you back or affecting you. It's probably the most significant thing you can do for yourself is open your heart. Get rid of some of that baggage that you've been carrying, sometimes since we are young. So those emotions that get caught up in our energy fields, again, they lower our vibration, they cause all kinds of issues for us. And I'm here to tell you that we can quickly identify those emotions using muscle testing and proxy and permission and using the magnet and running it over the central governing meridian, which is connected to your whole energy field, we can delete those for you. And that's what we're doing here today in our Minute Clinic. So if you just joined us today, welcome. You can put your name in the comment section here. Just say hi, where you're from. And if you'd like to experience what it's like to maybe lower, lessen, diminish, maybe totally delete all your chronic pain, then I'm looking for another volunteer today. All we need from you is we need, um, where are you dealing with the chronic pain? Is it your hip, your knee, your back, your shoulder, your wrist? Uh, what's the severity on a scale of one to 10? 10 is very severe. Uh, we have, give us your uh, permission to work on you and we don't work on people without their permission. And if you have a child that you'd like us to work with, um, once they turn 18, they're considered an adult. So even if you have a child, it's your child. Once they turn 18, we need their permission to do the work. And I've done it many times over the years. I've worked through the parents uh, on their children. We've got the permission of the child. We've worked through the, the parents or the children through the parents or through a parent. I've done that many times. However, if that child is... Um, under the age of 18, all we need is a permission from a parent or guardian. Maybe you've got a, a, a child with an up, always has upset tummies or, or maybe they're complaining about their sinuses or something going on. Um, guess what? Most of the time, it's due to trapped emotions. And again, we can identify them and delete them within minutes. So I'll share a couple other stories with you while we're waiting for uh, our next volunteer here. And thanks for joining us, by the way. Here's some, uh, here's some stories I've helped people with over the years. And here's uh, Sienna. She was a 15-year-old female. She was suffering from headaches and anxiety. After one session with her, her headaches and her anxiety, both issues were completely gone. Zero. Gone. After one session. Does that work for everyone? Well, not necessarily. Sometimes certain things need more sessions than others. However, sometimes we can do a lot in just a few minutes. So imagine if I can do this in a couple of minutes, what could I do in 25 minutes, 30 minutes? You could get a lot more done. So actually you can go to my website if you like, visionshealing.com. And on there you'll see a um, what we call a session menu. 
These are all a number of the areas that I've helped people with. I know it's hard to see here, but just a number of the areas I've helped people with over the years. Um, back pain, um, health blocks, love, money blocks, relationship blocks, uh, limiting beliefs, um, difficulty breathing, uh, allergies, addictions, hormonal issues, uh, food and drink addictions, that's a very common one. Frustration, maybe feeling some grief, some, something that happened in the past. These are all areas where I've had extreme success in helping people over the years. And I've been doing this since uh, 2007 here. Now I should show you my, uh, my um, bookcase sometime here. <laughs> it's, it's, I've got binders like this in there for over the years of people I've worked with. But guess what? Does this stuff work? It absolutely works. Did you know that? 80% of what you're experiencing today, most likely, or the way your life is, is most likely caused from trapped emotions, the way you think, the way you behave, the way you respond. And if it's not in a healthy way or, or productive way, most likely there's some emotional baggage in behind there that needs to get deleted. And that's what I can do. With this handy dandy magnet here, I can help you delete those chronic pain, anxiety, depression, fear, whatever is leading to that, we can help you delete that. That's why we're running these minute clinics here. So we got here, let's see, I woke up one morning with pain in my right knee. The pain severity fluctuates between two and eight. I feel unstable walking. And what else does, uh, I think it's spelled jaw. Let's see, I'll write that on jaw D here. So this is in your, I uh, woke up one morning with pain in my right knee. This is in the right knee. Interesting, we're getting right side body, right shoulder, right knee here today to work on. Um, you're in, my name is Janelle, she's in Seattle. Wow, love Seattle. Love it on the west coast there, beautiful city, yeah. So this has been going on for several weeks now. So this is not necessarily what I would, chronic pain is usually something that we've experienced, it's been going on for over six months, but however, we can have a look at this and see uh, what's happening for you here, Janelle? So let me just go down here and let me see if it's a two, two and eight. And I have your permission then, Janelle, to do the work. Just give me a yes on that. And I'm just going to test myself here. So my name is John. Yes, my name is Bob. No. So again, I'm doing muscle testing. This is what we call a yes. This is what we call a no. And there's lots of different muscle tests. You can do the straight arm tests. You can do elbow tests, uh, you can do sway tests. Uh, that's the first one I learned actually back in the 70s was the sway test, swaying forward for a yes, swaying backwards for a no. And if you like to learn how to do that, you can actually just Google sway test, muscle test. Or if you like, I can teach you how to do it. Maybe one of our minute clinics, I'll teach you how to do that test. But we've got permission here now from Jaylene to work on her right knee. So let me ask, um, so my name is John, yes, my name is Bob, no. Am I ready to be tested? Yes, show me a yes, show me a no. Am I hydrated enough here to work on uh, Janelle here? No. So I need to take some water here, Janelle. It's a very important that you drink a lot of water just for your health overall. And especially when I'm working on people and especially when they're being worked on, the water helps to flush out the toxins because once we release the emotions or the negative thoughts, the body still has to process it a little bit. They're gone from the subconscious immediately, but the body processes it and that's where the water helps. So can I act as a proxy then for you then, you know, yes I can. Do I have a good connection? Yes. We'll call you JD. So to have a good connection with JD, yes am I JD? Yes am I uh, John? No. So now that we're connected, I'm gonna ask this issue that you have going on with your right knee, you say it's, uh, what'd you say it was about it? Sometimes at two, sometimes at eight. Uh, I'm gonna ask, and this has been going on for quite a while here, you woke up one morning with a pain in the right knee, so is there a reason for that for you here, Janelle? Yes, we're getting a yes. Is it emotional? And we're getting a yes on that. Okay, remember Dr. Sarno says it's either all emotionally based for dis-ease or imbalances, 
or it's emotional and environmental. So is it emotional? Yes. How many emotions are impacting your right knee here, uh, Janelle? And I just, I've got one here. So that's when we're gonna go to, again to our chart here and we're gonna find out which one it is. So is that in column A? No, it's in column B. So which row is it in? One, two, three, four. It's in row four, column B. Okay, there's one emotion there, Janelle. So which one is it? This is the liver gallbladder. Is it depression? Is it uh, frustration, indecisiveness, panic? This is taken for granted. Does that make any sense to you, Janelle? Taken for granted, that emotion? You know, that's a very common one for women. Women seem to be very open to natural healing. And most of my clients over many years, even as a massage therapist for almost 30 years, were women. And guess what? Taken for granted is a very, very common emotion that women experience. Um, another one is unsupported on some level. They show up a lot. Well, guess what? Taken for granted, that is in row four. That's a liver gallbladder. And guess what? The gallbladder has a tendency to refer pain to your right knee. So let me ask, is your liver happy? Yes, is your gallbladder happy? No. So this could be generated by your gallbladder for whatever reason is taken for granted. So this taken for granted, is this your own? Yes, it is. Is it picked up or shared or inherited? Is it prenatal, preconception? Um, is it hidden? No. Is it hidden, 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 hidden? Is it secret? No. Uh, is it a vibrational resonance, a psychic trauma or trauma energy? You know, do we need to know more in order to release it? No, we don't. So just before we release that, I'm gonna test right now for you, Janelle. What's the severity of that issue to do with your right knee? The, the pain or discomfort and limitation in your right knee. What's the severity of that here before we do our session? On a scale of one to 10, is it a one, two, three, four, five? Right now it's about a six out of 10. Does that make sense, Janelle? That makes sense. So do we need to know more in order to release it? No. So we're gonna release that taken for granted for you here that's having an impact on the right knee. You woke up one morning and there was pain in your right knee. And, and just to cover our bases here, I know I asked this already, but make sure there's no hidden taken for granted there and, and any shared or absorbed taken for granted or prenatal preconception, psychic traumas, trauma energies, and vibrational resonance of taken for granted. And let's take a big breath on that one here. Breathing helps with the release. And did we uh, release that taken for granted here for you then, Janelle? Yes, was it released 100%? Yes. So now what's the severity of that issue for you to do with the right knee? You woke up one morning, there was pain in your right knee. What's the severity of that issue for you now on a scale of one to 10? Is it a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1? It's about a zero out of 10 right now. So that's really what we wanna do here when we're working with people, whatever issue I'm working on, whether it's chronic pain or relationship or um, some other health issue. Uh, if we wanna know the severity, how it's impacting you, and then we wanna get it down to a zero whenever possible. We wanna knock it down to a zero. Sometimes we have to go back in and there's another little layer, but We've knocked it down to a zero. So what I'm gonna have you do here, Janelle, is I'm gonna get up, move around a little bit, walk around, see how that knee feels here. And then if you can just uh, wait a minute, just or, or update us here as to how it's feeling. So again, if you just joined us, we're doing our minute clinics on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 9 a.m. for the month of June. Um, our next one coming up will be Monday, 9 a.m. So you can tag us here or maybe bring some friends along or family members if you'd like a, uh, us to do some work for them. And then if you'd like to find out more, you can go to my website, uh, visionshealing.com. Uh, you can download a session menu of all the different things I've helped people with. And it's I kind of, it's like a memory jogger. So you can just check off some things that uh, maybe you're dealing with some neck pain or stiffness, maybe some negative self-talk, maybe some difficulty breathing, maybe you're feeling resistance to exercise or eating veggies, or maybe you're dealing with some kind of aching wrist, fingers, or hands. So you can go on there and download the session menu. It's just, uh, again, a memory jogger. So if you decide to hire me and have a 25 minute to 30 minute session with me, then I will, in most cases, we can sometimes get rid of two or three 
sometimes more issues that you have on your menu. So again, if you joined us, um, welcome. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Yes, JD, what do we got here in the comments? Yes, we got her permission, we did the work. And she said the ache is much better. So it's much better. So again, if I can do that in just a couple of minutes, what can we do in 25 minutes? It's, a, it's amazing what we can get accomplished for people. So thanks for the update. Thanks for the feedback there. Um, so what did she say here? Uh, Jaylene said she felt it's like it drained out somewhat, like, like the bathtub. There's like a draining feeling in her knee, I guess. So let's keep us updated. So, you know, Jaylene, what you can do, if you'd like to come back here uh, on our Minute Clinic and um, maybe next Monday or Wednesday, Friday, whatever, come back and give us a little update as to how you're doing with your right knee. Um, and, uh, you know, and if there's something else there, a little something else there, we can always just do a quick little recheck for you. So again, thanks for joining us here today. Our uh, Chronic Pain Minute Clinic will be back again Monday. And watch for my upcoming Minute Clinics uh, next week. I'm doing uh, business owners and entrepreneurs. We're going to do Minute Clinics for people on procrastination. What's stopping, blocking, holding you back from maybe writing that book? Maybe... Um, getting a certain project completed, maybe taking your business to a different level, maybe actually revamping your business because nowadays with COVID-19, we're all doing things a little differently. So this is a great time to get rid of that procrastination. Maybe you set a goal and you haven't been able to accomplish it. Well, there's a reason and that reason is somewhere in your subconscious. So thanks again for joining us. We'll be in touch and we'll talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye.